just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now let's head down to the coin toss. Brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Toledo's coaching staff, they know they've got a star wide receiver. They know it's going to be a hostile environment. With that, we went to practice this week, Kirk. They had the crowd noise pumped up pretty good getting them ready for this game. Yeah, they've done everything that they can do to get this offense ready for a tough environment. They had the crowd noise all week long, making it tough to communicate to the quarterback and his receivers. Now it's here. Now it's the game. We'll see if all that preparation pays off. One thing we know for sure, they want to get the football into the hands of this receiver early and often if they want to win this game. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And down he goes around the 49-yard line. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. goes out of bounds at about the 45. Six yards that time on the pass play. You get six yards and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. He makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. to buy some time. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. Well, the offense looked like they wanted to bounce the ball to the outside. This defense just has too much speed. He did a good job of shutting off the edge and preventing the ball carrier from getting to the first half. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. <laughs> Tackle made around the 48-yard line. Second it's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Fires up to his receiver, and he's tackled at the 28. Let's give this quarterback a lot of credit. He recognized the man coverage, and guys, I'm going to tell you something. He probably knew he was going to go to the post before the ball was even snapped. Well done. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. And they make the stop at the 17-yard line. From the 17 yard line. Second down. Toss left side. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. come out in a goal line set. Looking for the corner. Touchdown, Southern Cal. He 
It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming at them, but they just couldn't stop it. And he hits the PAT. It was a six-play, 56-yard drive, and the result, seven points. The score now, 7-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. USC's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at about the 47-yard line. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Tackled after a decent pickup. Tackle at the 33. That's a deep guy, guy, double tight. That brings in second in the middle. Scrambling around. And he hits him hard at the 21 yard line. That makes it first and 10. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 17 yard line. Second down and six. Ball on the 17 yard line. The 10, caught. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Nice run, and he's brought down. That brings him second and goal. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. And he tackles them hard at the seventh. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive lineman have after that. This isn't much more than an extra point. It's up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. From their own 25-yard line, second down, USC holds a four-point lead. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. Bring up 
He wants it all. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Taken down at about the 19-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. That'll make it second and seven. Quick throw to the tight end. And he's taken down around the eight-yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. the middle for a nice game. That brings him second and goal. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, USC's up by four. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. USC is up for Fires quickly to the fullback. Run down just outside the goal line. It's third and goal from the one, and they're trying to make this a two-possession ball game. The Trojans saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. Steps up. Caught end zone for the touchdown. He hit the big tight end for six on that one. As a quarterback, you like the tight end inside the 10-yard line because they have a knack for finding the opening. And then you can just drill it in there. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. The Cavalry's coming. Gets it off as he's hit. Completes. And down he goes. Right around the 38-yard line. Gains his way to midfield. That's good for the yards. That makes it first and ten. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Mike 55. And he's going to come up with a sack. Loss of nine yards on the play. That'll make it third and 13. So that sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's tackled at about the 27-yard line. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Drill at the 18-yard line. That's good for a game of nine yards. 
That makes it second and two. And off, and he's met immediately. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. This is the eighth play of this drive. Fights forward to about the 20. He gains a couple of yards on a carry. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Toledo is ready to kick it away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. USC is up by eight. He's got it out to his tight end. And they push him out at the 44. First and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 47. Inside the 46. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. A couple of yards there. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. And this one is a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. Only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 20. And he's level at the 26-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Fires 
quickly, and he's got his man. And he's tackled right around the 48-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop at the 33-yard line. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down at the 18. Now he tries to buy some time. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. He's on the run. The 10. He dives and he'll be marked down. Now he's scrambling. Tackle at the four-yard line. We head into halftime with both offenses struggling. 14-6, USC. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced, David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. It, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football. Play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some ash turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. USC holds an eight-point advantage. run there. That makes it From their own 29-yard line. Second down. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. to the back no good number 25 was the intended receiver on the play that'll bring up fourth and five everybody up close it looks like they're coming after this kick this deficit can be easily overcome sure but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. 
Gets out to around the 45. Unselfish play by the quarterback as the option gives them a nine-yard gain. That makes it second and two. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. Number 18, on the tackle at the 32-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Makes it to the 24. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he's hit immediately. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Tackled after a decent pickup. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Touchdown, Toledo! And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. They need to tie it up here, and that's exactly why they're going for two. Caught it, and the conversion is good. Toledo lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. On the ground, left side. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Steps out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. You don't expect tight ends to run away from many defenders, but he looked pretty nimble getting downfield there. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. and tackle immediately. No game. That makes it second and ten. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Ready. Right 80. Top right. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Number five with the tactical with the 38 yard line. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Watch nine, watch nine. 34, here we go. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Play action. Deep pass to the end zone. And 
this is the eighth play of the drive. He goes out of bounds around the 38-yard line. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field, knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You gotta get those. They don't get it, and they'll take over on downs. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. He's got it with room to run. And he's taken down at the 33. He's got an opening. Very good tackle in space. That makes it first and ten. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. So at the end of the third quarter, 14 apiece. All tied up and we head to the all-important fourth quarter. the PAT a six play 69 yard drive and that's good for a touchdown Fred I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback this is a pretty crucial series right here with things being so tight your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball at about the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, second down. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Makes the catch and look out, and down he goes at the 50-yard line. From the 50, first down. Just throws this one away. Ready, ready, team. Run. Motion, motion, motion. 
Quick pass to the 10. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. So here we go, first and goal, and a field goal won't cut it. Touchdown, Southern Cal. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. This quarterback is really demonstrating a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. He's got a stalemate right now, 21 apiece. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Cross is out to the tailback on the screen, and he tackles him hard at the 28-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's taken down at the 50. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Needed that play, and he dropped it. <laughs> Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 50. <laughs> and a quick throw. Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. Stop round the 40 yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 40. He's tackled around the 30 yard line. Ball on the 30-yard line. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. And somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. Just under two to go in the game. Keep 
keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. And he's tackled at the eight yard line. So here's where we find out who wants it more. First and goal. Run and he's brought down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Touchdown, USC. Converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Rockets have sort of set up the defense with this wide receiver doing most of the damage. Do they go away from him, or do they do something different? Well, I think one of two things here for this offense. You either find a way to get your star receiver the football, or in some cases, you want to use him as a decoy, maybe take two or three defenders with him, and then open it up for somebody else to be able to make a play. And he throws it away. From their own 25-yard line. It's second down. We have less than a minute to go. Fires out quickly to the tailback. They'll bring him down around the 29-yard line. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch. That's fun to see. Just throws this one away. This might be their last chance. Fourth down. And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. Nice catch. First down, and he's knocked out. From their own 45-yard line. First down. Tackle at the 43-yard line. The Rockets use their second timeout. Take him down immediately. There was some movement on the line. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. Second and ten. Ball on the 43. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. USC up seven points. He takes a knee. Toledo's out of timeout. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this play. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee.
Toledo's team with a tough loss there, but the way their star played today, I think they can maybe build on that for next week. Well, I think that's the thing they've got to focus on. As you said, it's a tough loss for this team, but when you have a great performance by your star player and you're trying to build for the future, they really need to focus on his performance and try to build this team around his abilities to make plays. So that wraps things up for us. Free Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nestler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.